how to connect your Notion with Readwise and how you can export your highlights in Readwise to Notion. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can integrate between these two great apps. So Readwise is a website service that allows you to collect your highlights and books that you've read and retain information from them better. Because what is worse than reading a book and forgetting everything in it in a few months. So as you can see here, Readwise here helps me to um, recall the informations containing in the books that I've read by creating flashcards for me. And that's pretty neat. As you can see here, th this is a passage I've read in the book and it will allow me to generate a question and answer as a flashcard for me to review daily okay so let's get into it so the first step in connecting your readwise to notion is to connect and sync to the notion app you can do that by clicking connect and sync in your readwise and then click export highlights so in the first stage here we're only going to um to connect notion to readwise okay so for for example i've already have notion connected here let's remove the connection and start fresh all right so in the export highlights menu you scroll down and click notion here click connect and click connect notion to readwise okay and let's log into notion okay now let's choose the Notion workspace that we're going to work with. So for example, I'm going to choose my main app, my main workspace because that's the location where my second brain is or maybe your book notes um, page. Be sure to move your Readwise database to your correct workspace okay you can choose whether you want to export automatically i mean this is over a period of time or when the new highlights are added in our integrated app i'll get to that sooner include highlight locations use compact layout or you can select items to be exported instead of all so for example i already i only have how to use readwise because that's because I didn't uh, connect my other apps yet. We'll get to that. But for now, let's start export. So what this will do is that it will create a database in your Notion workspace in a page called Readwise, and we'll see that very soon. Okay, so once you're done, uh, edit, edit this, exported zero, zero new highlights and zero notes. That's okay, we're going to add more later. Let's click Open in Notion app. Open Notion, and sure enough, your Readwise page is in your Notion. Now you can you can stop here and try to change the Readwise database here. For example, you want to have an active recall and spaced repetition um, in the style of Ali Abdul's Notion template in Readwise, or you can move it to your existing Second Brain. Um, page here like I have here okay so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to add a books list here let's say let's call this books list books list and add icon because it's cute book there you go all right Now in my books list page here, I'm going to add the database. So to do that, let's move our Readwise database by clicking the six dotted uh, icon here in our database and click move to, and let's move to books list, which is our latest page we've added in our workspace. Now, once we've added the Readwise database here, Readwise will actually automatically uh, detect where the database is moved. And from now on, Readwise will add your highlights 
in this books list page. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So first, I'm going to import my highlights. So this is the next step. Import highlights. And in my case, I mainly highlight in pocket. But you can also add supplemental books for you to be generated a highlight like I've done, uh, like I've demonstrated before. But for now, let's connect pocket because that's what I use. Alternatively, if you subscribe to the Readwise Reader uh, app, you can also sync from Readwise Reader, which is pretty neat. Okay, now uh, it is said that I've made three highlights since the last time I've synced Pocket. I'm going to import all the highlights here. All right. Let's click to review first. Yep. This, this looks about right. Okay. Now let's click tune your highlights. Now... I want to show you is that you can you can tune your highlights to to have more frequency because Readwise works by emailing you these highlights for you to read over and over so that you retain information from them. So if you want more often, you can do that or if you want less frequent uh, frequency in emails, you can also do that. Okay. Anyway, now we have our pocket highlight imported to Readwise. Let's export it to Notion again. Okay, let's check out Notion. And let's see if we have imported everything, anything. Okay, now as you can see here, it has now sleekly and smoothly been transferred to my Notion. That's pretty neat. And now what I can do here is, since this is an article, I can, of course, make a spaced repetition or um, the likes of maybe a an active recall. So what I would like to do is I make a database down here. Sorry, a view, table view. No, a, a, a board view because we want to add a Kanban board and choose our library and let's edit the view to, to board again. Okay. Now I want to have the category to, I want to add the category here and the table will be Okay, so let's let's tune a bit of our newly made board here. So you right click the podcasts here and rename to active recall for better understanding. And then we want to we don't want to show all the properties here. We just want to show the title or the full title. And we want to add new property, which is the um, seven days, maybe the past, like, like you want to, you want to add the property frequency and you want to make this a select. Now in this frequency, we will uh, add the seven days, three days, or just today, because you've repeated the, um, how often you repeat the passage that you're trying to uh, memorize. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Okay, so let's let's delete the filter here first because we want to see all of our books. Okay, now we want to change this horizontal groups here to the view of the frequency. And as you can see here, now we have seven days, but we want to group our, our highlights by not the type, but the frequency. So let's change the group to the group by frequency. And now you can see that it will be grouped by frequency. And then you can ask your 
highlights becomes more, you can manually or automatically by using a code, uh, move these around to seven days and let's add a group three days. Let's also add one day. Let's also add review and so on and so forth. And uh, at first it will have this review uh, status here. And as the time progresses, it will move over and over to the seven days group. So that's how you, I want to set up this books list and the integration between Readwise to Notion. Also, you can also have, uh, you can do uh, whatever you, you can normally do in Notion, like add extra documents or extra pictures or anything to enrich your books um, memorization experience. Okay, so that is all from me. Thank you very much for watching.